So, if you haven't been living under a rock recently, you'll know that the new Pokemon games Scarlet and Violet recently released. And, well, that's what we're here to talk about. Weird, I'm talking about two games, two weeks in a row. That's not what this channel's about, but fuck it. Well, it is, because this channel's about me doing whatever the fuck I want, and talking about what I want. So, let's roll into it. The new Pokemon games are incredibly good. Like, I've not been playing them for too long, I've not even made that much progress. I've done a couple of the Titans, I've done, like, one gym, and I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. It truly is, if you were skeptical still, an open world Pokemon game, and honestly, it is amazing. Though, I will say, we'll get the um, big complaints out of the way. The Gen 9 Pokemon, in terms of their designs, I do dislike most of them. I don't think, like, a good portion... I. Yeah, look, I'll, basically most of the Gen 9 Pokemon are ugly, over-designed, messy, just not really that great. I'm sure some people like them, they just ain't for me. I ain't a big fan of most of the Gen 9 Pokemon, it's just the way it is. Um, if you want to know which version I'm playing, I'm playing Scarlet, not that that has anything to do with the point I just made. And yes, while there are a few performance issues, which really shouldn't be there because again, Game Freak are a pretty big company. Uh deadlines, I guess you can put it down to that, if you want to give them an excuse. Um, but, all in all, the games are fantastic. Because the performance issues with like frame rate and stuff, you can look past most of the time, because, again, it's not going to affect you actually playing the game. Yeah, sure, some NPCs will move jankily, but, like, what does that do to you as the player? It, do it, it does nothing, because these NPCs are irrelevant, basically. So, the, the performance issues aren't the biggest deal. I have seen some pretty big bugs, um, like, you know, trainers clipping through the world and shit, but that's not really happened to me yet, and I've played for a decent little while, um, so, yeah, I've got about, I think, 14 or so hours as of recording this. I'm recording this the day after it came out, so, yeah, you can view that as you will. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh yeah, um, I love that there's a certain level of jank and that's brought by the um, abundance of freedom that the game offers. For example, during the tutorial, by the way, the tutorial is huge, like, it's so long and, like, not in a bad way either, it's just so vast. There's so much you can do. Like, you can get a lot of Pokemon during the tutorial. And if you use a little bit of that jank I mentioned, you can get out of the tutorial area and uh, explore quite a bit of the map if you really feel like it. I personally didn't, but I did use it to catch some high-level Pokemon. Not that they'll, not that they'd listen to me for a good while, but uh, yeah, you you can do that if you really so wish. Because well. With this game, the world's your oyster. It literally is. Or cloister, if you want to use the pun they use in-game. Um, you, you can do what you want, as and when you want. It's up to you whether you do the gyms first, the titans first, team star, mix and match it. Do it in any old, you know, weird order. I chose to go through a certain series of titans just to get um, the ride features upgraded. And it, it's just a lot of fun. You can do whatever you want. Yes, you are limited with... Um, Pokemon levels as they won't obey you unless you have a certain amount of gym badges, but that can just you can use that as a guideline of okay, we'll do a little bit of progress in this way and this way. And also it's number of gym badges, not which gym badge you have, so you can't just cut straight to your gym and then all of a sudden all Pokemon obey you. No. One gym badge means Pokemon up to twenty five obey you. So there's just so many things that have been put in. The game's brutal in certain aspects, but there's also so much quality of life stuff as well. Like, it's just a serious amount of fun. I'm sure you've heard countless people talk about this in much more detail, and much better than I have, but look, the game's great, and I can't wait to beat it and start getting into doing um, competitive breeding and set on my comp teams, and eventually when we get home in, bring over all my Pokemon I have already pre-set up in Sword and Shield and in home. I'm really looking forward to stuff like that. And, um, if you've got the games, tell me your thoughts on them in the uh, comments below. Um, yeah, I think they're great. Like, genuinely. I think Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet are fantastic. And that's really what I've got to say. Um, yeah, 
leave a like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with everything I'm putting out. And with all that said, I've been Animosity, I've been you, and I hope to catch you all next time for another video. Ta-ta! For now.